spa members are the elite of the self-managed super fun sector, having grown from 156 in the first year to the more than 2,500 today, and is set to grow exponentially in the coming years. Well, I don't say this lightly, but spa members are great. They've chosen to become professional. They don't have to. There's no compulsion for this organisation, but they've actually chosen to become the best in their business. Spa membership demands a level of commitment and dedication that only true professionals are willing to live up to. There's no requirement for advisors to be members of SPA. They do so for their professional development and to obtain accreditation in self-managed superannuation funds. A strength of SPA is the diversity of its membership. SPA represents a whole range of advisors in the SMSF space, from lawyers to accountants, auditors, financial advisors, stockbrokers and actuaries. It allows a cross-fertilisation of ideas, which I know our members really appreciate. SPA has always had a pretty common mix of uh, members. Um, as you know, it is an association that is not for any one particular profession, it's for uh, anyone who works in the SMSF space. And really we've been pretty much split evenly between accountants and financial planners in terms of people who say their primary occupation is those two occupations, with a smattering of lawyers and administrators and actuaries. And that's been pretty consistent going forward. And, and it's a quite an interesting dynamic uh, mix of, of members. They really are the forefront of who SPA is. Um, I love them to death. They call me the godmother. They're all like my little chicks. And I think um, the SPA membership um, in total is sensational.